Now that you have decided on a clocking option and entered your users into Time Track Go, it is time to start reviewing their time cards. Just head over to the Time and Hour section. From here, you will first notice the insight blocks near the top of the page. These blocks will provide important information such as total, projected, and scheduled hours. Additionally, these insights will provide valuable information such as errors, PTO available, and if there are any pending time off requests. Time Track Go offers flexibility when it comes to editing time cards. For example, you have the option to view employees one at a time with our single user mode. Or if you prefer to see all employees grouped by pay date, just switch to our group mode found here. For this training video, we will focus on single user editing. The next two buttons will allow you to quickly scroll from user to user. Or if you prefer, you can choose a user from the list found here. Just type a name in the search box or scroll down until you find the user. The two buttons to the right of the user list are Save and Undo. These buttons only become available when there is a pending save. In the middle, you will notice a range of dates. These dates should align with your current pay period. If not, please check the configuration settings of Time Track Go or contact our customer care team. Changing the dates is easy. For example, let's pretend you want to look at the time cards for last pay period, just click the previous button located here. Alternatively, you can pick dates using this convenient calendar located here. The calendar supports custom date ranges or just click on any of the predefined date ranges located on the left. The final set of buttons toggles the time card and schedule view. The hybrid button will combine past time cards and future schedules giving you a clear picture of the entire pay period. Now that you are familiar with navigating the time and hour section, let's start editing some punches. In this example, you will notice that this user may have forgot to clock out. You can quickly fix this mistake by clicking the green plus sign located on the missing punch. This will open the punch edit window allowing you to quickly fix the missing punch by inserting the actual punch time here. When finished, just press the go button and your edited punch will appear. You can verify the hours above and if everything looks good, be sure to press the save button to lock in your changes. If this user has a schedule assigned, fixing missing punches is even easier. When you click on the green plus sign on a missing punch, the system will automatically insert the scheduled time as seen here. If you need to go back and make a change to an existing punch, just mouse over the puzzle piece and click the edit icon located here. This will open the punch edit window to allow you to modify the time or add a punch comment if necessary. Additionally, Time Track Go offers quick edit features. Just place your mouse over the puzzle piece and you will notice that you can quickly edit the punch time, add a comment, or even delete the punch. Occasionally, you may need to enter a completely new punch. This can easily be accomplished by clicking the green plus sign located on the left. From here, you will choose add to time card, then select the punch type from this menu. This will open the insert punch window allowing you to quickly insert the punch time here. When finished, just press the go button and your new punch will appear. You can verify the hours above and if everything looks good, be sure to press the save button to lock in your changes. I should mention that you can make multiple edits before needing to save. Finally, if you need to enter hours on the time card such as a sick or vacation day, click the green plus sign located on the left again. From here, you will choose Add to Time Card, then select the Hours Punch Type from this menu. This will insert an Hours block to the time card. Now just mouse over this piece and you will notice that you can quickly edit the total hours or modify the pay code. As always, verify your hours above, and if everything looks good, be sure to press the Save button to lock in your changes. This concludes our training video for reviewing and editing time cards. If you have any additional questions, be sure to reach out to our customer care team, we're happy to help.